Hi. Today I'm um, hiding in the depths of my vegetable patch. I, I grow a higgledy-piggledy mix of vegetables and flowers all in the same place. Lots of people kind of put flowers in the flower bed and vegetables in the veggie patch and don't think to mix them up, but actually it works really well to mix them up. It provides more diversity, it brings in more beneficial insects like pollinators and ladybirds to eat the aphids and so on. Um, and also, a lot of vegetables, if you let them flower, are really beautiful. Um, so these are cardoons, which people grow for the edible stems, but actually the flowers are amazing. Um, giant, sort of almost day-glow purple flowers that bees go nuts for. Uh, and, and also, fight my way through. Oh, so this, by the way, is this is mullein, which is a, it's not a vegetable. Uh, it actually just seeded itself here. Um, but again, it's, it's beautiful, it's good for the bees. Has some interesting caterpillars on the leaves often. We've got borage down here with another bee plant. These, these, I think these are stunning. Um, these are leeks and some onions just down here. Uh, leeks and onions and alliums, all, they're all the same family of plants. And most people have no idea, they grow leeks, but they harvest them uh, in the winter. They never let them flower, but if you do, they're absolutely stunning. Um, so I always let my leeks and onions, a few of them, leave them in the ground, grow more than you need, then leave them in the ground to the second year and they'll flower. Same with parsnips. We'll have a look at how to collect seeds from parsnips in a second. So all these beautiful flowers, they attract in a diversity of insects and they then, as well as pollinating the leeks and the onions so that I get seed. They'll also pollinate my runner beans over there, um, the pumpkins and squashes that are all around me. Um, so the whole thing kind of works as a, as a kind of integrated, healthy system. By the way, uh, apologies for the World War III background noise. It's a clay pigeon shoot across the valley. Okay, so let's have a quick look at how you harvest parsnip seeds. So, this giant beast, you can't even see the top of it. This is a parsnip flower. It looks a bit like fennel or hogweed. They're all the same family. Um, so these are just a couple of parsnips that are left in the ground. Uh, rather than harvesting them and eating them, I left them to flower. They're biennials. They flower in the second year. Uh, rather handsome. They've gone over now, um, but they did attract lots of insects. Um, but now they're almost ready. I think one of the flowers is ready for me to collect the seeds. So all you need to do is snip off the seed head when it's dry enough. And I've got here just a, a Tupperware. And if you basically bash it around a bit, sprinkle up the... Uh, the dried seed head. All the seeds fall out. I don't know whether you can see that particularly well. Nearly there. And I've got several hundred parsnip seeds. Easy as that. Simplest thing in the world. So you just put those in a paper envelope, leave them somewhere dry and cool over the winter. I put them in the garden shed. And Next April, when the soil warms up enough, it'll be time to sow the next crop of parsnips. Marvellous. Look at this bumblebee. She's drenched in pollen. Busy drinking the nectar. These cardoons, the bees absolutely love them. Covered in, covered in bees. Beautiful too. Yeah, she's upside down, she's so excited trying to get the nectar out. And then also over on the uh, on the leek flowers here, there's almost as many bees here too. Mainly bumbles, lots of buff tails. And then in the background on my runner beans, many garden bumblebees, busy pollinating. 
Oh, there's a leaf cutter bee on the cardoon here. I don't know if we can get a look at it. Can you see the one at the back there? Leaf cutter bees, instead of carrying pollen on their legs, they carry it on their tummies. Look at that. Uh, they have hairy tummies and they pack the pollen onto them. So they have a characteristic kind of bum in the air foraging position. Very handsome insects. So, there you have it. Leave a few vegetables to go to, to flower, to go to seed. Feed the bees, feed the other pollinators. Get free seeds for yourself. What's not to love? Thank you.